Oh man, what did I do? Oh man, I just skipped the treasure. I'm such a jackass. Oh, dude, I should just start this video over. This has been horrible anyway. Okay, that last monster just now, the angler form, he did a water based attack that did about 200 damage to each of us. But the tricky thing with this area is you're not allowed to heal between battles unless you're in a cave like this. But look how that almost did us out right there. So we're gonna use the tonics here and get ourselves back to safe territory. Cyan also, since he had the barrier ring protect, or uh, equipped, he had automatic protect and shell cast it when he got low on HP, which uh, is pretty reassuring. Got a little pool here, I don't know what that's all about. And then we got a switch that empties that pool, how about that? A little hole here, we'll fall down to the level below and get this treasure chest here, which is Green Beret. Okay, I think I've seen one of those before, we'll give that to Cyan. Actually, no, we're going to give that to Cyan. He's already got one. Well, I'm not going to give it to Gal, so I'm just going to give it to Cyan. Oh, okay. So that works out pretty good. Notice that increases HP to over 400. It's the first I've seen of a character with over 400 HP now. I'm trying to think of where it was I got to last time I played this. I think I got to the Opera House. I just wanted to see that scene or something. I can't wait to get to that. I already know what song title I'm going to use for it, but... I'm not going to screw that up for us now. And as we rise to the surface, we find ourselves in a town that looks suspiciously geographically like South Figaro, but no, it's actually Nakia. Not to be confused with the Elton John song, Nikita. If you go to the cafe here, there's a little bit of a mess going on here. <laughs> we got a dancer. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. There's a couple of shops in here, and we were just at shops a second ago, though. So I can't imagine there's a whole lot new to get here. For the first time, we see white cape for sale. I'm gonna see what kind of junk here I can sell. I need any of this stuff. So, um, armor shop here. We got a Magus hat. We can use that for Terra and Celeste when we get them back in the party. Silk robe. Looks like Terra could use that. And, um, let's see what we got over here. A weapon shop. Kotetsu Mithril Pike. Mithril Pike for Edgar, definitely. Although, again, he's probably not going to be attacking a lot, so maybe that's just a colossal waste of money. And more items. Well, since we got some money, I'm going to grab some tents here. Pretty soon we'll be back to having healers in the party again, so we don't have to worry too much about whatever. I don't know what's outside here, usually what you're supposed to do is actually take the boat to the next town. I was a little worried there that those were going to be like really huge level monsters, but they weren't. Thank goodness. There's some forest here. No, there's nothing really to find here, I don't think, so. That's probably a good thing. Back to town we go. That'll teach me. I don't know, for some reason I want to think that there's something else here, but I don't think there is. There's a chocobo stable, and up here a whole bunch of trees. The usual town staples. And the thing is, once we get back to Narsh, it's going to be time to start the war, so there's a little bit of, you know, cutscene stuff leading up to it. But, um, we could probably go ahead and jump into that before time runs out. I'm up to 29 minutes here. Out three euro. Let's do it. So we have a little exposition on the boat, and then we cut back to Narsh, where all the parties together. Narsh is just a stone's throw away. 
hope the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did. We hope so too. Well, that turned out pretty well. Considering all we went through, the three have reached Narsh, and a decisive battle is about to take place. So obviously Terra, Edgar, and Bannon get back first because of their short cutscene. A little political debate going on here. <laughs> It's happening, brother. Get out of your denial state real quick here. <laughs> War may be upon us, whether we would have it or not. I don't actually support the war in Iraq or anything, so I'm not going to get into that, but... Who's with you? Hell, you should know who he is. If you're the king of Figaro and he's the king of Doma, well, he's not really the king of Doma. But... That bastard! Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gonna poison us whether we collab or not, man. At least it seems that way. What? Sir Gao, out of my way. <laughs> He's still got time to call him, sir. <laughs> For some reason, that's just hilarious. He's like, what, you two? Like, come on, man. You guys are crazy. God, who knows what he was about to say there. I guess he was about to say, this is not good, but who knows for sure. I don't care what you do here, just get me that Esper! And get the sand off my boots! And get me some coffee! Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> so the battle's gonna take place way up on the mountain, so... moved it into the hills. You actually moved the Esper. We're going up after it. So we're heading on up to the big mountain here. <laughs> I love it. He's right, you know. Or she's right, I mean. This is it, the war is beginning, so this is where you'll get to pick your party. We're not going to do that just yet because, you know what, I am flat out of time. I just hate this so much because I would love to just jump headlong into this, And but, you know, there's a time and place for everything, and that time is not right now. So, this is Nintendo Capri Sun saying thank you for watching, and thank you to all my new subscribers who jumped over from the Jealous Guy. I appreciate you guys. I well, I know how to tell you. So... Having said that, we're going to turn this off now, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.